I feel like this is one problem that shouldn't exist. And I feel like somebody at Microsoft is probably kicking themselves right now saying, when is this going to stop these self-inflicted wounds? Phil Spencer himself used that terminology when it came to the Redfall release. He said, we have got to figure out a way to stop these self-inflicted wounds when it comes to releasing games that are just broken and not very good. Now, in this case, I don't think Starfield is going to be broken. I think it's going to be one of the best role-playing games released this year. However, with the Series S and the issues that some developers are happening, and I'm not one of these crazy conspiracy theorists that come up with these ideas that somehow certain studios are making games exclusive and pretending that they're having issues with the Series S so their games don't have to like you know be reviewed next to an exclusive like Starfield or because they just like Sony. That's just insanity. But with the Series S now, much, much less RAM than the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. It would be like if somebody said to me, Worry, when you go to the gym, you can't work out as hard as you normally can. You have to set all your capabilities to the capabilities of your brother, who's never gone to the gym ever. Of course, I would be severely, severely limited. I would be held back. And Larian Studio says, the co-op, drop in, drop out, they're having a problem because of that much, much less RAM in the Series S and because of feature parity now, Baldur's Gate 3 is essentially a PlayStation 5 console exclusive in the same month that Starfield is coming out. And we have the PC Metacritic score sitting at a 94 so far. This game looks to be a special, special game. People who are playing it are saying it is absolutely incredible. All of the hype, all of the buzz around role-playing games this month should be Starfield. This game should be a third-party game. Xbox should be getting this game the same day as PlayStation 5. But that parity clause, that Series S is a self-inflicted wound now that Starfield is going to have to deal with. And look, Starfield shouldn't have to deal with this. It should have its big launch month. It should be the game. It should be the role-playing game that everyone is talking about. And now, essentially a game that should have been a third-party game. This should just be another role-playing game dropping onto the Xbox Series X, dropping onto the PlayStation 5 and the Series S conceivably, and then Starfield should be the big role-playing game event, the first Bethesda role-playing game in 25 years, but instead we've got this momentous launch for this game, 94 Metacritic, PlayStation 5 version yet to be reviewed, but I mean, how much different could it be compared to the PC version? I'm sure it's going to be in the high 90s, and this game essentially is going to be the talking point when it comes to role-playing games. Conceivably, this could be a game lumped into the Game of the Year category, winning RPG of the Year over, say, Starfield. This shouldn't happen. The Series S, whether you believe these studios or not, the Series S is a much less capable machine, and it is limiting what is coming out on the Series X. I have a Series X. I want Baldur's Gate. I want the choice of playing it on the Series X or the PS5, and I want both versions to be the same. I want nothing to be held back, and I certainly don't want a game that is supposed to be a third-party game to steal the thunder of Microsoft's first really big chance at an exclusive game really being something special. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.